How's it going, family? I wanted to give my thoughts on the Hero of the Month for June of 2024. We have Aviana, Legendary, Hero, Holy Element, Fighter Class. So I went to uh, research her name like the geeky way that I always do. And it's derived from the Latin word meaning Avis. <laughs> Latin word meaning Avis. The Latin word Avis, which means birds. Um, her name also means freedom, positivity, and hope, which I think the holy element was a great choice for her. Good job, uh, small giants. Um, I'm not really a fan of the artwork, <laughs> although she kind of looks like she would be an Indiana Jones villain. <laughs> so the fighter class, we know what they do. Um, they have the chance to revive after, oops, sorry about that. They have a chance to revive after being killed off with one HP, which fighter classes do make great tanks for that reason. They they use their, if they're killed off before they use these, their special, they're able to revive and then use it. It's kind of a sneaky little tactic, but sometimes it gets you. We have the Legends 2024 family, which won't be activated until January 1st of 2025. We have two passives, resist bleed damage. This character has innate resistance against bleed. Okay, that's of use. We, I think this one's better. We have mana on buff received. This character gains 5% mana when they receive a buff or a positive stack, which incentivizes you to use this hero with other buff heroes. All right. Um, we have an attack of 1,001, defense of 931, and health of 1,582. All, I think they're good stats. I feel like they've pretty much, all all these Hero of the Month, these late, these recent Hero of the Months have had pretty good stats. Well, today's standard, I think. But then again, it fluctuates so much, so it's kind of hard to really gauge. Now, when I think about these stats it makes me date back to the earlier hero of the month and grazil comes to mind because i remember back then they were way more balanced than they are now i feel they're overpowered and just boosted everything but back then there was a, a lot more balance to the hero of the month um grazil her attack was really low around 600 and something with uh, her defense was eight over 800, which was at that time, which was high for a hero of the month. And then her health was over 1400. <laughs> you can't get away with doing that now. So let's look at her special, Falcon Screech at average speed. <laughs> okay, she deals 300% damage to the target and nearby enemies, which is fairly good. The target and nearby enemies are immune to the new status effect buffs for four turns. The caster and nearby allies get plus 50% critical chance for four turns. Element Link gives all holy allies plus 5% dodge chance for six turns. This effect can't be dispelled. Okay, I think overall this is a usable hero. I, I, like, I like the bullet points that are here. Now, on defense, I think this hero is a bit risky. Um, not that it's detrimental to your team. It's just that, well, you definitely don't want to place her in the, the wing position, obviously, because if her teammates get killed off, she's only affecting herself. Uh, she's probably best suited for a tank position because if she does go off she's able to to uh give that um give that uh critical chance increase to herself and her allies before she's killed now with the flank position if the tank is killed she's only affecting two heroes so it doesn't utilize her full potential if you use her in offense i think you have more control on where you put her. Well, I mean, you obviously do, but you know, you you can uh, synergize her so that she's actually using her full potential. 
And I would recommend placing her between two uh, attack heroes. Now, I just thought about someone, Annabelle, who's a gr who is a great counter against this hero. So that, to me, gives a little bit of minus points when you have a four-star that's a counter. And the reason why I say Annabelle, because Annabelle could remove buffs and debuffs, which would relegate Aviana to only uh, an attack hero. Um, now, I think she would be good for a Titan if you... And I think she would be best, obviously, be paired with stacked uh, holy heroes, not just for the element link, but um, for the damage. Like, let's say I, I have in mind if you were to uh, place her between a defense down and elemental defense down hero. The only one I could think of is Cosm Leonidas, who both versions have an attack down and an elemental defense down. And if you don't have him, most most likely you probably have Guardian Jackal. And then you would place her between that hero and then probably someone that does defense down. And I would, re the thing is you would actually wanna, if you wanna synchronize it, you would put her between two average heroes. That way you can do uh, an attack down, an element, oh, sorry, a defense down, elemental defense down, followed by her. I think that would get the most out of her attack. So if you do pull this hero, I say, like I always say, you know, you don't just base it on what other people's uh, subjective opinions are. You also consider what your roster looks like. And uh, if you kind of have doubts, just bring the hero to 370, take them for a test drive, and then see if they're worthy of your essential materials. So just let me know if I got this right or I got it wrong, if you receive this hero, or if you're going to use them or anything like that. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out, and I mean it.